I wear a white helmet because studies have shown that white helmets are more visible. Uh, good morning everybody this is cruise man and it's another beautiful Sunday for a ride just heading out from breakfast with Don and Dale joined us today he's riding his uh, motor Gucci but he also has a white 2018 Goldwing a six-speed and we just had breakfast and riding home and thought, uh, well, let's just catch up on a few things. Since the last time I uh, did a motor vlog, which I think was last week, I put out my video on the add-on accessories sequential turn signals, which has been extremely popular video and uh, I have them on my bike right now and I really really like them I'm as some of you may know I'm not a big gadget guy I'm not big on uh, just throwing LED lights on just for the sake of um, putting lights on but I really like the looks of these because they look like something that could very easily come from the factory they're they're just very uh, factory looking I should say so I'm very happy with them. I think they look great. I think they actually enhance the looks of the front of the bike. And, you know, my whole uh, philosophy on safe riding is see and be seen. That's why I wear a yellow um, jacket for visibility. That's why I have fog lights that I ride with. That's why I have a headlight modulator. Now, I don't use the headlight modulator all the time. But I do use it sparingly. If I'm coming up on an intersection and I see somebody up ahead that's getting ready to turn left, potentially turn left in front of me, I'll hit those modulators. And I have actually seen people stop in their tracks where they were kind of edging out like they were going to turn in front of me. And uh, so I'm pretty sold on the headlight modulators. I know some of you don't like them. Some of you feel like uh, they distract the drivers. But uh, I don't mind distracting the drivers uh, from their texting because that's probably what they're doing. They're not paying attention anyway. And I know some people make the argument, well, flashing lights uh, don't, don't make any difference. They don't really do anything. Well, if that's true, then how come all of the emergency vehicles have flashing lights? So that's kind of my argument. And I feel the same way about the tail light or brake light modulators. I just feel like they add a degree of safety. Anything that makes me more visible, that makes this motorcycle appear bigger and more visible is a good thing. So I wear a white helmet because studies have shown that white helmets are more visible. That's why I don't wear a black helmet or a dark gray helmet. I like the white. Some people wear the yellow helmets. That's probably good, but I've actually heard that white is actually even more visible. Don't remember where I saw that, but I read it somewhere, so it must be true. So it's all about being able to see and being able to be seen. Because what's the biggest excuse most cagers will give you if they hit a motorcycle, they'll say, I never saw him. I never saw the bike. I never saw it. Now, some people say loud pipes save lives. But loud pipes are not going to keep somebody from making a left turn in front of you. And that's where a lot of motorcycle accidents come from. So, I'm a big believer in doing anything you can to increase your visibility to oncoming traffic. 
Now, like I say, I use the headlight modulators sparingly. I don't leave them on all the time. Early on, when I first had headlight modulators, I did that a couple of times and I saw people in front of me, ahead of me, actually pulling over. They thought I was a policeman and that I was flashing the lights to get them to pull over. And I don't think that's really a good practice, so I stopped doing that and I only use them if I'm going through an intersection or if I see somebody maybe on a, 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 a street over here on the right and they're getting ready to pull out into my lane, I will hit those modulators. And uh, I'm pretty convinced they do, a, they do make a difference. But everybody has their own opinion. What's your opinion? Do you have headlight modulators and brake light modulators? What do you think? Put it in the comments down below. I'm open to anybody's views. And what's your view on wearing a colored jacket or a yellow jacket or a white jacket or something with some color? I don't think it's necessary to have the motorcycle lit up like a Christmas tree. I know some guys love putting all these LEDs, uh, kind of decorative LEDs all around the bike, and I, that's fine. Uh, I think a lot of that's more for show than it is for safety. Uh, I'm more concerned about what does this motorcycle look like from the front, what kind of presentation does it make, and it, how visible is it to oncoming traffic. And that's why I love those Pathfinder cowl lights and the fog or driving lights. Now, if you want to really be seen, you cannot beat those Rivco uh, driving lights. Those things are super, super bright. They are annoyingly bright. I know Don has them on his 2018. And... Uh, I can see him coming, you know, a quarter of a mile away. They are that bright. They are just super, super bright. But they can be somewhat annoying to oncoming traffic. So if, if you have the Rivco lights and you're having people flash their lights at you, somebody just sent me a, an email or they put it on a YouTube video the other day that they, they had this problem. They had the Rivco lights and they were getting oncoming traffic flashing them because their uh, Rivco lights were too bright and what I suggested that he try doing is maybe uh, adjusting those the angle down a little bit on those driving lights so that they're not aiming up or straight ahead down a angle them down just a little bit and uh, you'll still be very visible you'll they'll still be very bright to oncoming traffic but they won't be uh, painfully bright so you want to be seen uh, but you don't need to be uh, in a situation where people are flashing their lights at you because they want you to turn off your, your driving lights or your fog lights. Now, I have the SoCal Moto Gear uh, multifunction uh, fog lights, and I'm happy with them, but they're not as bright as the Rivcos. But they do make a big difference in increasing visibility. I also have the show chrome uh, marker lights on the front forks and on the saddlebags in the rear. But the only real benefit for those is if you're riding at night. They make you a little more visible from the side. And honestly, I don't ride that much after dark anymore like I used to. If I ride in the dark, it's in early in the morning when I'm going to have coffee. I don't usually ride at night uh, too much like, you know, I used to back in the day, but nowadays I try to pretty much avoid it in Dallas-Fort Worth. It's just not safe. Uh, it's not safe riding during the day, but damn sure not safe riding, and especially like on a Friday night with all the drunks out. So uh, I don't think any amount of lights are going to help you there. But back on the loud pipes save lives, you know, I, when I was a uh, part of the Harley group, that was a big deal. They talked about loud pipes save lives. And um, don't rely on any light or pipes or noise or anything to protect you on a motorcycle. Nothing is going to replace being alert having good riding skills, 
you know knowing what you're doing on the bike being careful being uh, defensive you can have all the loud pipes in the world but if you go out with your Harley group on a Friday night and you're drinking heavily and then you get back on your motorcycle those loud pipes are not going to save your life so that's just my two cents worth so I think uh, today the topic of this video will be see and be seen Dale actually used that term Dale is a uh, MSF instructor and uh, a couple weeks ago when he met us for breakfast he used that term see and be seen so I thought that would be a good subject to cover on today's Moto Vlog. I appreciate you joining me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Moto Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.